Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the new synopsis for David Harewood's episode, aka Episode 7, aka the mid-season finale for this season. And also we got the official finale date for Supergirl Season 6, so we're going to be breaking it all down and going over what this all means for the show. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So if you haven't checked out my latest videos, go check them out, they're up in the top right corner right now, so you can click right there to watch it. However, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's topics. So, we all know that David Harewood directed episode 7, and this episode, something big is supposed to happen, and we'll go over that something big in a minute, just right after we go over the synopsis. So, the episode is titled Fear Not, we've known that for the longest time, that was actually the first title we found out about due to some leaks. However, I'm really excited for David's episode, apparently there's going to be lots of alien stuff happening, and hopefully we're going to start getting into really what is happening with the return of a certain character. Okay, so this is how the synopsis goes. David Harewood directs, as the Super Friends brave the Phantom Zone to bring Supergirl home, each member of the team is confronted by visions of their worst fear, and David Harewood directs this episode. Okay, so that is the short and sweet synopsis that we got, and so it teases that they're going to brave the Phantom Zone, aka they're going to try and break into the Phantom Zone, and I reckon in this episode they're actually going to do it properly and make some success, because we know this is the episode that Melissa is supposed to get out. She is supposed to return as Supergirl with the rest of Team Supergirl, because around episode 7, episode 8, that's when Melissa came back, so my theory is, at the end of episode 7, there is going to be a cliffhanger where she actually returns, and that's why we continue in episode 8, when we get back from the long break, because if you guys didn't know, after episode 7, this episode, it's going on a long break for 10 weeks as Superman and Lois returns, which is a shame, however, that means Supergirl is going to go on for a long time, and we're going to go over that finale date because it's a long ways off, which is exciting because that means the show is being prolonged and we're going to have it around for the longest time. But anyway, so they're all brave in the Phantom Zone and they're going to try and bring Supergirl home. And the big thing that I was talking about is that I think Supergirl is coming back in this episode and it's actually going to be successful. And what could happen in this episode? Because we have seen it in behind the scenes photos, they've been on a ship. So lots of people have been theorizing that Nixley is going to be like the main villain of the first half of the season. I think that's likely and I think that ship could potentially be her proper ship that she ends up getting or stealing or something like that. However, there is a possibility that this alien ship could be something brand new and this is evidenced by last episode because in the two part episode we got introduced to these brand new aliens who we'd never seen before and they had their own ship. So I'm presuming there is a chance it could be someone completely different from Nixley. However, I would say that is a safe bet for now. But let's continue with the synopsis. So each member of the team is confronted by visions of their worst fear. So they're all going to have their individual fears. This is going to be explored throughout the episode. And obviously Alex's greatest fear is probably losing Kara again. Once she gets Kara back, Brainies is probably losing Nia. And then, you know, there is like a whole bunch of other ideas that we can go through. But let's just wait for the episode. So what do you guys think their worst fears are going to be? So that's kind of what's going on in David Harewood's episode, episode 7. This is coming out on the 11th of May. This is going to be the kind of mid-season finale for Supergirl season because it is going away for like 10 weeks and this is going to act as sort of like a ending point that will segue into bringing Supergirl back into the fold, into the team in their final 13 episodes. So let's move on to the next thing. And the next thing is to do with Supergirl's finale and when it's happening. So recently they just announced, well that being the CW, some new release dates for some new shows. They confirmed Stargirl's premiere for season 2, that is coming Tuesday, August 10th, so that is just a week before Superman and Lois ends for season 1, and so Stargirl I believe has 13 episodes, and so we're going to have DC TV shows all year long, so Stargirl is coming on to The Flash's time slot Tuesday, August 10th, that's because The Flash is just finishing I believe the week before this, I could be wrong about that, I'm just going off the top of my head, however Superman and Lois is ending season 1 August 17th so a week after this and that is where Supergirl is going to return 
And so that doesn't mean August 17th. Supergirl is going to come the week after Superman Lois's season one finale. So Supergirl returns Tuesday, August 24th after Stargirl. So Stargirl would have had a couple of weeks of running season two and they would be on episode three and Supergirl would return for episode eight. So Supergirl is sticking to the Tuesday time slot. It seems like it's working out well and they want Supergirl to return on the Flash's kind of designated date. And obviously the Flash would have ended by then. They would have had their season finale and they would have been prepping for season eight already because we know the CW wants to get back to their normal schedule. So with Supergirl returning for episode eight on August 24th, that means we can calculate Obviously, excluding any breaks, there is definitely a chance that there could be a break here and there scattered throughout the last few episodes of the season, that being the last 13 episodes. We can calculate when exactly Supergirl is supposed to have its finale, so its final episode ever, and that, according to my calculations, is Tuesday, November 16th, and that is the finale date. So, this is much later than expected. We expected it to end around October time, because we thought that maybe Supergirl will come back a little bit before then. However, this is very much so like in the midst of the full season. So this brings up a very valid point. What's going to be happening with The Flash? Because The Flash was supposedly set to premiere in October with Batwoman and maybe Superman Lower Season 2 at their normal date. Because if you guys remember, normally The Flash and most of the Arrowverse shows premiere in October. However, things started much later this year, that was because of the pandemic obviously and everything got delayed so they had to premiere much later, The Flash premiered in March, Supergirl premiered much later as well, and so things were all shifted. However, the CW said that they are committed to bringing it back to a normal kind of release date. But with Supergirl ending so late in November and probably Stargirl along with it, they are number one taking up the Flash's time slot. Obviously the shows could move to another day, maybe Stargirl moves to another day and the Flash takes its time slot, Supergirl stays in the same time slot. However, they don't normally have continuing shows and then they premiere a show at the same time. That's not normally a thing that they do around October time, so with these shows ending so late, could the Flash be moved to January? I think that is a very valid question and I think that there could be some delays in Bound. Obviously we don't have any confirmation right now, this is just like speculating, but it is clear that Supergirl won't end until mid-November 100%. It could even be late November if they decide to add in any breaks. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on right now and I want to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Personally, I'm excited that Supergirl gets to continue for such a long time because if it was like a normal season and it had 20 episodes, we would run for like 20 weeks, maybe there's like a few breaks, but this time we get, yes, this huge long 10 week break, but then it continues all the way to November, and that's like nearly a whole year of Supergirl content, and that is very exciting to me because I don't want the show to end, and so the later it ends, the better for me, I guess. I don't know if you guys are of the same opinion, however, that is very exciting to me that Supergirl will only end in November, so nearly at the end of the year. But I do think it's a shame that The Flash could potentially be delayed to January. However, I hope they stick to The Flash premiering in October. So we have Supergirl and The Flash crossing over, you know, kind of playing at the same time one last time. That would be super, super great. But for now, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did like the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. Click here to watch my latest video. Also remember we stream every Thursday so please be sure to tune in at about 4pm ET slash 9pm UK time GMT where I'm normally joined by a special guest and we talk about the latest in DC TV news and theories and we talk about everything and so that is live Thursday nights so please be sure to come and join us there. Also if you want to become a member and join our Zoom call that we do monthly all you need to do is click the join button which is next to the subscribe button below and become a member and you'll be supporting the channel but then also you get some cool perks along with that including the zoom call with me and your fellow fans. So thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.
icy room.